discussing the chapter walls tell stories today we will learn how to read a map first of all i would like to tell what is a map a map is a drawing of all or part of earth surface it is a symbolic representation of selected characteristics of a place usually drawn on a flat surface so map is drawn on a flat surface there are different types of maps like physical map political map thematic map etc so here let us see which map is given it is the golconda fort map you can see here it is the total map you can see the directions are given north east west then south the things which are depicted depicted in the map it is also mentioned here like stairs bawli house then uh, darwaza all these things are given in the map and this is the scale of the map 1 cm is equal to 110 meter now let us understand the directions when we stand facing the rising sun we are looking towards the east so when we see towards the sun we are just looking towards the east behind us is the west where the sun sets on the left hand side is the north and the right hand point to the south so these are the four directions that is east west north and south so here also in the map the four directions mentioned so here it is the north direction this is so this is the south just opposite to north and this is east and just opposite to east is west clear and the scale of the map shows that the 1 cm of this map the distance 1 cm depicting in the map is actually 110 m on the ground tell and write look carefully on the map of golconda on the map arrow shows all the four directions just i have told you if you are peeping inside from bodley darwaza in which direction from you is kotara house so this is bodley darwaza and if you go towards which direction north direction you can find kotara house kotara house so it will be in the north direction if someone is entering from banjara darwaza in which direction from her is kotara house so let us see so this is banjara darwaza and kotara house is this side so it is from north we are moving towards south in which direction will you walk from bala hisar to reach moti mahal so where is bala hisar this is bala hisar and this is moti mahal so from here to here so this is in the west bala hisar in west and you have to move towards east to reach moti mahal so it will be towards towards east direction next question how many gates can you see on the outer walls of the fort so let us see the outer walls so this one suppose this is one this one is two this one is three this one we will not take it is not on the outer wall four five Six, seven, and eight. So, how many gates? Total, eight gates. 
on the outer wall. Count how many palaces are there in the fort. So, so it is Shahi Mahal, Mahal Taramati and Moti Mahal. So there are three palaces. So how many palaces are there in the fort? Three palaces. What arrangements for water can you see inside the fort? For example, whales, tanks, stiff wells. So if you see, there are five bowlies and three house. See? One, two, three, four, five, and this one five bowlies and how many house there are three house one two three on the map one centimeter distance is equal to a distance of 110 meters on the ground now tell on the map the distance between Bala Hisar and the Fateh Darwaza is so this is Bala Hisar and this is Fateh Darwaza. I have taken it from 2, so 2 to 11, so it is 9 centimeter. How many centimeter? 9 centimeter. So on the ground, this 9 centimeter would be 990 meters. You have to multiply it by 110. 9 into, 9 into 100 and, uh, sorry, 110. So it is equal to 990 meter. How far is Makai Darwaza from Fateh Darwaza? It is also if we measure it with scale. Makai Darwaza and, and Fateh Darwaza. So this distance will be of 10.5 centimeter like the previous one which I have measured in the same way you can measure it and it will come as 10.5 centimeter so uh, again on in the ground it will measure 10.5 centimeter into 110 so it will be 100 uh, sorry 1155 meter when you multiply it it will come 1155 meter so 